Hi, everybody. Susan Odell here, Friday Thoughts. Hope everybody's had a great week. Mine's been very productive, and uh, I hope yours has been too. So let's just jump right into it. So this is case study number two uh, and the run-up to the release of Successful Change in September. And today I want to speak directly to CEOs, founders, uh, just leaders that have a public voice in the market that they're in. Um, uh, that is uh, an example is detailed in, in the case study, and it's relevant to AI, which is why I want to talk about this today. Um, so uh, years ago, uh, I worked for a very cool company that had um, amazing enterprise technology in the document management space. And it was a proprietary programming language uh, specifically that enabled you to um, store one, one instance of information and replicate it out to any format that you would want that was supported, which was many. Uh, and so we had some of the largest uh, um, publishers in the world as customers, um, just killed it. We had a great team, um, lots of detail in the book about, about that. And uh, I, I think you'll find it an interesting read. But the reason I wanna share it is HTML was very powerful, but very niche and very com complex. Um, and uh, it was a precursor to XML. And so <clears throat> at the peak of our growth, um, XML was announced and, um, you know, our CEO at the time um, was, was invited to speak at the, the first XML conference and um, just conveyed that, you know, XML was, was lightweight, um, that it wouldn't address the needs of the largest publishers in the world. And as we know today, that's not the case. Um, I would assume most of you have never heard of HTML, but all of you have heard of XML. And so what's the lesson learned in this, you know, uh, read the book, <laughs> um, but I'll give you a little bit of it, but I would, you know, this again for leaders, it's really important that when there is uh, a new in influence in market, something that you did not anticipate that absolutely throws your value proposition for, you know, off its, off its track and you have to find a new track. How do you respond to that? It's a case study. You have an AI is exactly that. We're at this moment. You know, my experience way back when was niche, but it, it is absolutely relevant to what's happening today with AI, which is not niche. So do you what do you do? You have two options. If you, if your product is a, a di directly impacted with the availability of consumer based um, um, AI engines. Um, you have a couple of options in terms of how you respond to that. And so I, I talk about that in the book. It's really important um, to have a, a permanent, permanently negative or positive impact in terms of how you respond to an unforeseen market um, bomb. Let's call it that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, another, another story that lived story uh, with some really interesting twists in it. Um, you know, all anonymized, um, but this company no longer is in business. They were acquired by a, Euro a European company many, many years ago. Um, nothing but positive things to say about everybody, including the CEO. It was just an unfortunate decision that affected our market and uh, changed the direction of uh, many careers, which have gone on to do some pretty amazing things. So uh, food for you to read in the book uh, coming up uh, in September. I'll, uh, probably by next week, I'll have a locked in date. Uh, for you for the book. Uh, but that's it for now. Have a great weekend. Uh, and song of the week will be down there somewhere. Okay, have a good one. Bye.